Not very long ago, I put out a quick video taking a look at the differences between width auto and width 100%. One of the things that caught me off guard with it was in the comments how many people were asking about how height auto works or the differences between height auto and height 100%. So instead of trying to answer all those comments, I said, why not just make a video on it? So here we are. Um, so the very first thing I want to look at, and maybe the thing that throws people off the most is when you have a div, let's say like here, I put a height of 100% on it, but it's not actually changing. And if you're doing heights as a percentage, same as width, you have to be thinking, what's the height of, you know, it's all... What is that of? So the percentages are always based on the containing block, which most of the time is the parent. And I won't get into the differences between those right now. Um, but most of the time a containing block is the parent. And so the height here of 100% is 100% of the body. But because I don't have a lot of content on my page, the body is actually really small. And not everyone realizes that because if you do come and put a background on your body, let's just do a pink background on here. Um, the whole viewport will fill with that color even though you can see here I have a border on it on the body and the body's staying small. So this, the background on the body changing the color isn't only going on there, it's actually filling up the whole viewport. Uh, it's filling up the whole viewport or the whole page if you have scrolling. So that is just something to be aware of and let's get rid of that pink background now because we won't be needing it. Um, and that should disappear. There we go. And we can see that we have that red border there. So that's my body. So if I go on my body now and I say that the height is, let's just say 100 pixels. That means the body's going to grow and this with the dark background is growing to fit it because the height is 100%. If I do a 50% height, the height is now 50% of that. So whatever this is, let's make it a bit bigger to make it stand out more. We can see that it's growing to 50% of the height of the body. So remember the percentage on a height is always percentage of the parent. So it depends or the containing block if you're using position absolute and different things. Sometimes that can be a little different, but keeping it simple for now, just think of it as most of the time being the height of the parent. Um, where height auto comes into play. So if I do a height auto on there, you'll see it shrinks down to fit the content. And unlike a width of auto, which is trying to be the width of the viewport, a height of auto will actually be zero pixels tall. So if I remove all the content from my example div here, and there's no content in it, I can't see anything. Uh, it just, it vanishes because it's literally zero pixels tall because the, there's no content, there's no height. And then as we add content to it, so I can put my hello world back, it grows a little bit and that div grows to fit the height of the content that's inside of it. And this is a wonderful behavior that we don't want to get rid of because that means as I add more content, let's just add a bunch of filler text here. Um, and that should give us some words and we'll see that this is growing. So the height of this is adjusted to that content. By relying on a height of auto, it just means that the element itself is going to automatically adjust to whatever we're placing in there. And most of the time that's what we want. Now this will change if you're in a flex or a grid. In those situations, they're no longer block elements. They're gonna be flex items or grid items, which those behaviors change a bit. Something we could look at in the future. But here, just to show you that the default is to grow or to shrink based on the content inside of it. And that's always a good thing because if you do set a height, let's just say I set height auto uh, or height, let's do 500 pixels this time. Um, so it's gonna overflow out the body, which is kind of awkward. But let's just say I came in here with a lot of text. Let's delete that. We're coming to my hello world and let's add like lorem, I don't know, a hundred words, a thousand, a hundred should be enough. Um, and those words, oh, not, not enough. <laughs> lorem, let's add another 100 words. And now what's gonna happen is it's spilling out the bottom because it's not growing to accommodate the content that's inside of it. It's now stuck at 100 pixels and it will never grow. I do get asked a lot about this and on setting heights and things like that. So my advice is always try not to set a height if you don't need to set a height. Heights are very, very dangerous uh, for this. But one thing, if you do really need a height, you can always do a min height. So the advantage with the min height is it will grow to fit the content if there's too much content. But if there's not too much content, let's just go back to my hello world. When we have just the hello world, it's going to stop like it, the minimum, the smallest it can get is 500. And another advantage with this is let's go back up to like lorem 100 where we had empty room. This also makes responsive websites a lot easier because when we have a big screen, the content has more room to live. But when we get to smaller screen sizes, that content has less and less room to live and it gets longer and longer and longer. So by setting a min height here, you can see it's growing when it has to, but at this size, it maintains that height right there. And this doesn't have to be, this could even be viewport, 50 viewport height. So it's a minimum of half my viewport, but if it needs more space, it can get more space. Or if it goes the other way, then it locks in at that size. Uh, whereas if we just set this again as a height, 
And now it looks great at big screens, but when we get to the small screens, oh no, we run into trouble where content is overflowing. So in general, I try and leave height at auto, try never to touch it, but if I do need to touch it, most of the time I'm gonna set a minimum height and in very, very, very rare situations, maybe you actually set a solid height on something. Uh, but I find most of the time it's something that I don't, I can avoid uh, unless it's like a pseudo element or something where it's really for decorational purposes. If you didn't see my video on how widths work with auto and all of that, you can check that one out. I've linked to it in the description down below. And if you want to know how the lorem thing there worked and why that was generating content, I do have a video that looks at how Emmet works and some really awesome shortcuts you can be using it. So that one is linked in the description below and you should see a card or something popping up on the screen for it now. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and learned something along the way. A really big thank you to my patrons for their support each and every month with a special thank you to Zach, who is my enabler of awesome. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.